Hey, it's Nick Bag TV. What's up, man? It's your boy, Mr. Nick Bag TV, aka Blogaholic. Back in the building, back in the mix. About to get into this. Man, I really don't even mess with, you know, this whole YouTube and stuff like that no more like I used to, man. Got a lot of stuff going on. That's just how it is these days. So I try to jump on. I see something. No more. I just told myself, you know what? When you see something you want to talk about, just go ahead. You know what? Why am I even explaining to y'all? Anyway, dude, let me get into this video. Um, this is from a YouTuber. I really don't. I never watched the video before. It just happened to come up on my feed. It's called FD um, Signifier. I guess that's how you pronounce his name. Um, but he has a video, and I just saw the title. It says, he was, so, so, he was, look at this. <laughs> they got a bear in the class when the teacher made y'all read. <laughs> Come on, man. He was supposed to be, child of Jedekis, he was supposed to be, he was supposed to be the feature of hip hop. So th this, if you read this statement, it's basically saying that he was supposed to be, but something happened, prevented him from being, the future of hip hop, and he, he's talking about none other than um, cannabis, man. If you don't know who he is, look him up. Can I Buzz? One of the most homo naughty names in the history of music. Can I Buzz? Any you cannabis? Like what? <clears throat> Come on, dude. It's too many double entendres with that name there. But anyway, he said um, cannabis, cannabis was supposed to be the future of hip hop, man. And I'm just gonna say. I 100% disagree. Like, nobody was checking for cannabis to be the future of no hip-hop. Now, I granted, I was a, a cannabis supporter back in the day when he came out. I mean, second round knockout. I listened to that song a few months ago, actually. and was like, wow, man. He, he was really, he was really mad at LL, man. He was really mad at LL. Get on the phone with Minister Farrakhan. <laughs> I told him, no, he started it. He didn't know what a hardcore artist is. Like, Mike Tyson? Eat, eat, eat MCs for lunch? I mean, the song is a classic. I mean, it's one of the greatest hip-hop diss songs of all time. One of them. Not the top, but it's up there. So I'm not going to, like, totally crap on cannabis, but I will say Second Round Knockout is what made more people kind of gravitate to him. Like, I didn't watch all of this dude's video, but I did skim through it. <laughs> Do you read it or skim through it? I skim through it, Jay Z. But anyway, I did skim through the video, and he said some some stuff, man. Like he he said something about how you know, I didn't I don't even know if he really believes he was supposed to be the future. I don't I don't think he actually believes that, or that's just a title. But he definitely wasn't, man. Like he said something about how cannabis was um at one point <clears throat> featured on a lot of like rappers' albums, like Common. Um, the firm, White Clef, if you can count that, but a few other people. Um, the Lost Boys, I remember that 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 um that little hookup, the Beast of the East. That's that probably my first time hearing cannabis. LL Cool J, four three two one. You know when he when that LL, but I'm gonna get into that. But <clears throat> again, back to he was supposed to be the future of hip hop. I don't I don't think cannabis was, was supposed to be. Anything more than what he eventually became, uh, 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 a folklore rapper, <laughs> like a rapper that people kind of know about, but and he's he's kind of inflated his 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 whole um, contribution to I guess hip hop is kind of inflated when you look on a, online right now. See a lot of videos, people waxing poetic about him, like this guy FD. Like, for him to say that cannabis was supposed to be the future, dude, that doesn't even make sense to me. Like, like I said, cannabis had some, he has some shine, he had a little spark when he, he had a spark when he started, but now he's just garbage, man. I'm going to tell you why. So, when cannabis came out, it was like, uh, I mean, this, he came out, like, at a time where punchlines is what, well, it was probably at an all-time high. People actually listened to lyrics and broke down stuff like that. People actually did that. But this is back when hip hop was still kind of underground, just beginning to like crossover kind of. You know, you had Puffies, you had the the Wu Tangs, you had people like that, man, just getting into that mainstream, quote unquote, pre culture talk. You know, before it became the, the culture and all of that good stuff, it was it was getting to that. But it was still 
about people listening to lyrics at, at some point. But again, I'm not going to even say it was about people listening to lyrics. It was a, a small group of people who actually cared about lyrics. You still have people who listen, who, who you know, in the majority of people liked the mainstream hip hop like they do now. Like Master P, that was um, popular back in the day. You know, everybody, Master P, Snoop Dogg, West Coast, West Coast and South rappers. That was, that was the popular, that was, they was the ones selling. It was like cannabis was an afterthought. Like people, and when I was coming up, who said they listened to cannabis or run cannabis up, they got laughed at, man. Like he was never going to be the future of anything. Like, no, like, dude, nobody really bumped cannabis. Like nobody listened to him. Nobody paid attention to him. Like I actually bought his CD. Um, the first, what was the first one? I forgot what's the name of it. I bought his first CD and he had a song on there, dude, called Neganometry. And and that that right there, that's that's the song that really made me stop even caring about what this dude said. That's why I made this video because I'm like, this dude literally had a song asking a girl, "How big was the dick you suck?" Nah, like what? How big was the dick you just suck? It's like, huh? Did he just say that? Like, like swear to God, man. When I when I heard that, I was like, dude, I'm not listening to. I'm done with this guy. Like that's. That's one lyric that made me say I'm done with a rapper. Like, a rapper, to me, can say something. I'm like, I'm done, dude. I'm not listening. I don't care. Not, anything you say past this is never going to erase the image I have of you, man. For even as a straight male to come up with that lyric, it's just retarded to me, man. As a matter of fact, he had a song called, Get, Get, Get Retarded. Nah, nah, they said it. Hot thing is this garbage. Now, I'm going to be honest, too, dude. If you really, really listen to that CD... What's the name of it? The first cannabis CD. You listen to it now, you kind of like, dog. What? It's kind of whack, dude. Like back in the day, I'm not gonna lie. Can I bust when it came out? I I, I was kind of like forcing myself to like it. I really was, man. Like I like wanted him to win, but I was one of those people that that liked anything nobody else didn't like. I always wanted to be a contrarian. So cannabis was the perfect contrarian rapper. He was like the person. That you just want to be different. It's like, uh, who you who who you listening to? But I'm listening to cannabis. And it's like who? It's like yeah. But yeah, he had a song called Niganometry, which was kind of like, man, what is he talking about? He had like some. I think on Niganometry, he said that that crazy thing. I went to actually school and asked my teacher about that. He said um, something about if we remove everything out of the water, the water will rise. <laughs> Like, dude, what is, like, back in the day, I was like, dog, oh, this nigga cannabis smart as hell, dog. He thinking about shit like water rising. If you remove all the animals, dog, oh, this nigga smart. This nigga really smart. But now that I'm older, I feel ashamed that I wasted my time listening to this guy, dog. Like, how can a guy make a video saying he was supposed to be the future? No, he wasn't, dude. Nobody was checking for cannabis. I don't care if anybody watched this video. And, or comment and say, you, you you don't get it. Cannabis was big back in the day. No, he wasn't, dude. No, he was not big at, back in the day. Uh, ain't no way you can tell me that his hottest song was Second Round Knockout. And if you really want to be real, that song right there was only hot because he went at LL and it had a little backstory of the 4321. It just was a, it was a nice story to it. Like, honestly, if he just came out with that song without the backstory, I would have been like, dude, I'm not, I don't, what, huh? Like just because it had a backstory, that would gave it some of the hype. It was, it was, it was, it was, you know, it was kind of real. But at the end of the day, man, he lost that battle. Actually, like he kind of got. Well, a lot of people say he got blackballed after that. I think what happened was that battle that kind of put him in a higher position to so people could hear him. And once people actually heard him and and listened to his caliber of music and songs, they was like, "This is trash." I'm not about to listen to this dude no more. Like, <laughs> like seriously, dude. We listen to his album. You get to the point where you be like, dog, I don't give dog. I don't even care what you're talking about no more, man. Like you really blowing my high, bro. Like, what are you talking about right now? Get 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 retarded, man. <laughs> Buckingham Palace, dog. Like some of these songs was like what? Like I I didn't even get past this song. Like I say, after Nigonometry. When he had that, um, when he asked the girl how big was the thing, she just, like, after he said that part, 
I kind of was like, dude, I'm, I'm really done with this guy. So, no, he was not supposed to be the future. Like to be the future, that means you had to, you you had to have some type of popularity. I don't think cannabis was ever popular in the mainstream sense of rap. Yes, he was on Common Sense. Uh, one day it all makes sense. That's one of the. That's a good album. That's a great album. I like that album. I need to go back and listen to it and see if I still like it. That's another thing, dude. It's like I listen to albums now and be like, oh, why was I even listening to this back in the day? I can't even listen to half this stuff. But cannabis, like I was saying, he was on a lot of people's stuff. He was on Canna, he's on Commons, he was on the firm. Remember? I walk across the fan <laughs> I walk across the sand, barefoot covered in land. It's like on and off land. <laughs> it was like he messed the whole vibe up on that album, dude. You know, some mafioso gangster player. You know, type drug talk, and then cannabis just come talk about walking on the sun with no feet. It's like, dog. Like back in the day, I thought it was cool. I'm like, yeah, man, he's a disruptor. Cannabis, man, he 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 was the only like person on the firm that was really spitting lyrics. You know, Nas was on that fake gangster bullshit, and cannabis was keeping it real. No, cannabis was keeping it awkward as hell. It's like, dude, we listening to like a nice conceptual album about some gangster stuff. You know, everything going and next thing, you know, I walk across the sun with no shoes on. It's like, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> then he was on um, the Lost Boys Beast in the East. He just was rapping. Like, he rapped crazy. I remember he was actually a hip-hop quotable for that. That was like one of the longest rap verses ever, man, back in the day. Like, he just was going crazy. He was like, what'd he say? <laughs> I don't know what he said. He said something about he'd been rocking before the, before the Christ. He was just going crazy, dude. He was he was spazzing, man. Jay-Z actually had a, had a song. Remember he said, I was cold as fuck before ice, but not before Christ, but a long fucking time. Get your mind right, niggas. <laughs> He's talking about cannabis, dog. I just heard, just thought about that. <laughs> cannabis was on some stuff like that, man. He he was saying some some crazy stuff like, "I'm nicer than Christ. I'm nicer than Christ." Something was like, "Dude, what the hell are you talking about, dog?" Like Jay Z had to come up was like, "I've been cold before ice, not before Christ, but a long fucking time." Get your mind right, niggas. Like, dude, he was just saying some stuff, man. He said, MC so ill, I got AIDS scared to catch me. Like, back in the day, I was like, oh, my God, he got AIDS scared to catch him. Like, then I'm getting older and thinking, like, oh, yeah, that because he's a virgin, because he looks really weird. And women probably get freaked out by his alien looks. That's why AIDS was scared to catch him, because they never would, because he didn't engage in activities that can cause AIDS. <laughs> Like, dog, I can't believe a dude wasted his time actually making a video. Wait, it was an hour video. I'm not hating on it, but it's just saying he was supposed to be the future of hip-hop. No, dude. Nobody cared about cannabis, dog. Like, for real, man. Only people who liked cannabis was people like me who wanted to be different, dude. I swear, after, like, the first um, album, I was like, yeah, I'm off that high. <laughs> I'm off that trip. <laughs> Like, dude, man. And then I just I just always think like, man, how did he like he came in with white cleft too, dude? That was all that should have been a, a dead giveaway. Like, dude, what is this, man? But anyway, man. Shout out to F D Signifer. Uh, if I'm saying this name wrong, I'm not doing that on purpose. I just don't know how to pronounce it, dude. My bad. But he was supposed to be the future hip hop cannabis. I, that's a big no for me, man. But what y'all think, man? Y'all would, do y'all think cannabis was actually like good? Do, do y'all think he was, you know, a dope MC? Was he funky fresh? <laughs> I think cannabis was was cool was a was a commodity rapper. You know, he was somebody that you could say, yeah, I listen to cannabis and be and sounded cool. But now if you listen to him, it's kinda like, dude, I'm I don't, got too much going on in my life to listen to you right now, dog. I don't care about the shit you pondering right now. I don't care about the, the, the insignificant fake ass math geometry problems that you conjuring up in your brain right now, bruh. 
I really don't care. If you smoke a pound of weed, how high did you get per cubic inch? Like, dude, what? I really don't care about that right now, man. <laughs> but shout out to cannabis. Shout out to people who still, you know, think he's, you know, he's a go or he he's somebody, you know, we should really look at as a pioneer hip hop. Shout out to you, me. I think he was just another nigga, man. Came in, got a little shine, should have saved his money and chilled, man. Like, <laughs> What is he saying something about Jay Z? He's like, yeah, Jay Z. Jay Z told me, are you ready for this? Are you? Do you want this? It's like, nah, stop capping, bruh. As a young kid, say no, but Jay Z ain't stopped to tell you that, man. I don't believe nothing this nigga say. Really don't, man. Like he lied about the whole LL thing. He like he made that up. Yeah, Jay Z told me. He he warned me. For real, I should have listened to Jay Z. As you're still interviewing a rap for a rap magazine, you're saying you should have listened to Jay Z, but you're still engaging in the stuff you should have listened to him by not engaging in. Like I don't get it, dog. It's like is it like a dope dealer? Like man, my mama told me to stop selling dope. I should have listened. All right, man. How much is the half a key going for? <laughs> It's like what? I guess the, I guess that's just a complex man. I guess I'm missing a point, Nick Bag. He's a complex man. He was an interlogical interlogical genius. It was some word that dude kept using the F D feather line dude. Some word he kept using. He's a he's a genius microbe. I was like, what? The hell? Dog, what genius microbe? <laughs> he's a <laughs> He's a, he's a professor. He's a genius, lyrical giant. Professor X clan. Like, dog. That was a nigga with a thesaurus, bro. Hey, stop it. Anyway, man, I'm not about to ramble this long about cannabis, man. I saw this video and was like, dog, what's going on? It's your boy.